Hi guys, welcome back to House of Crypto. We're your one-stop shop for everything related to crypto and the coolest new projects in blockchain, DeFi and the crypto industry. Today we're looking at Vault Inu and its ticker is VOLT. Vault Inu is a hyper deflationary token that aims to invest in multiple asset classes. These include NFTs, nodes, altcoins, and staking and farming of stable coins. This is really handy because it helps you have diversity in your investments. This allows you to mitigate your risk and take advantage of the non-correlated growth of trending assets. Since Vault is intended to be a hyper deflationary token, the profits made from treasury investments will be used to buy back and burn Vault tokens. In addition to this deflationary mechanism, Vault has implemented a 2% burn tax on Ethereum and another 4% burn tax on the Binance Smart Chain. Merging these two mechanisms guarantees a consistently rising price floor. And this is because the burning of the Vault tokens decreases the supply. You can buy Vault Inu on ERC20 and on the Binance Smart Chain. You can also buy it on Everswap, but Vault can also be traded on LBank, BitMart, BKX, Hotbit, XT.com, and Digifinex, so there's plenty of places you can buy this token. They have been audited on the ERC20 network and they have been audited on the Binance Smart Chain. Let's take a look at the tokenomics for Vault Inu built on ERC20. 1% goes towards reflections, 2% is added to liquidity, and 2% goes towards automatic burns. 4% goes towards marketing and development, and 4% goes towards the treasury. As for the tokenomics of Vault Inu on Binance Smart Chain, 1% goes towards reflections, 4% goes towards an automatic burn, 4% goes towards marketing and development, and 4% goes towards the treasury. Vault Inu even has its own store where you can buy its branded merchandise. And one of the cool things about Vault Inu is the number of media publications it's been printed on. It's been mentioned on Bloomberg about how they partnered with CryptoCart, following its listing announcement on BKX Global, it's been featured on Cointelegraph, Nasdaq, Investing.com, Yahoo Finance, and many more. These are tier one publications that Vault Inu has had exposure on. And their Twitter community is also growing. They have nearly 47,000 followers on Twitter. As for their roadmap, they've completed all their social media launches. So Telegram, Twitter, they had a stealth and fair launch on Uniswap. They've had CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko listings. They've also had their website development and contract deployment. And they've also had their Etherscan verification and a thousand plus holders. They've also completed all of stage two, which includes NFT acquisition, nodes acquisition, altcoins trading, and their first buyback and burns round. They've also had many more exchange listings, including decentralized exchange listings, as well as centralized exchange listings. They've also had a Binance Smart Chain bridge made, smart contract auditing, play to earn game release, their merchandise, and they are yet to now have the treasury staking and farming, which is part of their stage three, and then their stage three of the roadmap will be complete. They've already had lots of marketing campaigns, including billboards and celebrities. And for stage four, they've completed their dashboard migration to version two, the Everswap listing. And now they want to implement their automated social activity reward system, their NFT collection, their Vault Fiat giveaway. They're going to be launching a Vault Swap and a launch pad. And they also now want to aim to have 50,000 holders. So guys, what do you think of Vault Inu? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when House of Crypto releases a video. Remember, we're your one-stop shop for everything related to crypto and the coolest new projects in blockchain, DeFi and the crypto industry. Also remember, this is not financial advice. Make sure you do your own research before you invest in anything. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.